Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we made our way up to the snowy town of Imil, which was being plagued by an epidemic, and in this episode, we are making our way through Mercury Lighthouse, chasing after Mia before she gets herself killed. You see that statue in the middle there? Remember that for later. We can't do anything with it, right now. But we will soon enough. Oh, I guess you need our moving expertise, huh? Yep. You saved Maya again! Yeah, we're here to stop a couple of goons. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Well, it's too late for that now. Oh, well, thank you. Yay! More party members! Sorry, viewers, I get really excited when we got more party members. Anyway, uh, oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. We've got Mia on our side, alright! She's the last party member in the game, at least in this game, uh, and she is the resident water adept. Uh, she comes with Frost and Tundra, uh, Frost allows us to freeze those little puddles we've been seeing into columns outside of battle. In battle, it's a relatively weak ice attack, uh, Tundra is a little bit better, and so is Ice. Uh, Ply is also a healing synergy that's much better than whatever you, uh, Isaac can do, and so Cure Poison, well, I'd imagine you can guess what that does. She also comes with Fizz, which restores HP, so that's really nice. Uh, Mia is the resident healer of the group. Uh, she'll be doing pretty much all of the healing for the rest of the game, to be honest. But at least they make healing in this game actually useful! Anyway, this being the lighthouse of water, all of the puzzles here are water-based. You just gotta push that pipe in the way and you'll get the water flowing. Uh, you step in this area, you get pushed to the side. Like that, see? I love Mercury Lighthouse. I love all the lighthouses. If only there was some way to shut the water off, but... Well, I guess we can't do that now. Or can we? Let's push that out of the way. Head down here. I'm trying to get to that item box, see if I can remember how. Does it look promising? Okay, that's probably the wrong way. Another new enemy, Sirens. Take a while, guess what element they're weak to. I forget what that glowering miserably does. Fortunately, Mia's attack is just a little bit better than Ivan's. Okay, yeah, we can't go that way. Not that she's particularly strong to begin with. Honestly, though, you're probably going to be using her more so for her healing. At this point, uh, you definitely want to have uh, Mia take care of all of the healing in the game, instead of uh, Isaac. I mean, you want to do that in general. You only want to have Isaac be the backup healer, but uh, uh, in Mercury Lighthouse, Mia's PP will regenerate constantly, so... You definitely want to have her do all the healing. We're even in battle, her PP will regenerate, by the way. Just so you know. Now, we finally got all four party members. I was saying a couple episodes ago when we fought Tret. Um, ow. A couple episodes when we fought Tret, I said that uh, if you had the fourth party member, you'd have... Uh, just let Isaac go all out. Uh, that's because Mia's the fourth party member, and she would be the one you want to do all the healing for. Or have all have do all the healing. Yeah, uh, Mia's uh, PP regeneration in this area is almost obscene. Unfortunately, even though she's the healer, she is a little on the slow side. She's not quite as slow as Gary. Usually, but she is pretty slow. 
But it doesn't matter because more party members are good party members! Yay, more party members! Party oh, more party members are always good unless you're playing Golden Sun Dark Dawn. You know the party member I'm thinking of, viewers. You know the one. Ow. Oh, I see. Hmm. But how are we supposed to activate the statue? Well, you need to use the ply synergy on it, but you can't just use the ply synergy from your menu. You'll only heal uh, your party members that way. You gotta set ply to the R button. And then you'll be able to do this. And that'll activate those strange platforms. You charge up and you get... Three hops across the water every time you charge up at those platforms. So, now we can actually make our way through this room. But I'm not going to yet because I missed an item and I want that item. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Mia comes with the witch's wand uh, equipped. And she comes with the gin she already had. Oh, I already said that, didn't I? Whatever, she's got the Witch's Wand, uh, it has an Unleash called Stun Voltage. Uh, Mia can equip wands and maces as her weapons. She cannot equip any kind of sword, by the way, so don't bother. How do you get that item up there? I know there's a way you can get it, I just can't remember how. gotta be a way. I gotta have more cowbell. Hmm, maybe that was it. Yep, that was it. Okay, I'm an idiot. Ooh, a Psy Crystal. That'll restore PP. Really, really good. I'm kind of sad I missed that earlier, but oh well. Just in case uh, your Ivan is consuming PP faster than, I don't know, speeding bullet? I guess. You can just use that to replenish his PP. Could have used that a little bit. Actually, no, we killed Tret before we needed it, didn't we? Okay, well, carry on! Never mind! Please tell me we don't have to do that puzzle again. There are other enemies in here. Ow. That really hurt. Oh, we got Cure Well. It's a better healing move. But I'm gonna keep on having Mia deal with all the healing. So let's see what's over this way. Ah, a secret passage behind a waterfall. That's why I've been pressing up against the waterfalls, by the way. Uh, I guess it's another standard rule of RPGs. You know, you see a wall, you got a uh, waterfall, you gotta check behind it, because there's probably something good behind it. Yeah, Mia's physical attacks aren't terrible. They're not fantastic, but they're not terrible. Aha! You cannot hide from me! Hmm. Aha! Synergy armor, huh? Let's give that to... Yeah, Garrett, why not? Boost his PP. Pretty useful in an area where everything is uh, weak to fire. Oh no! A Mimic! Okay, these guys are really, really tough. They're weak to fire. They have about 468 HP. And 
they can hit pretty darn hard. So, I'm going to use my most powerful moves, which in this case would be my attacking Ginny, uh, Plasma, probably. And Ice, why not? Huh, this Garrett didn't get his uh, stuff dropped. And now we'll summon. Water of Life! Uh, that'll revive any character that dies in battle, so now you don't have to go all the way back to the town of Imil just to get healed. Alright. Okay, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. Do you want to go this way? I think we do. Again, I'm kind of, I guess, playing it by ear is an appropriate term. I haven't done this in a really long time, so... Yeah, let's go for that item. How do I get there? I have not played this game in a long time, viewers. This way. Yeah, your physical attacks can handle a lot of what goes on over here. We got a sleep bomb, it can inflict the sleep status uh, on an enemy, but uh, I don't care for it. Most status effects in this game I don't think are very useful at all. Because I mean, yeah you could worry about putting status effects on your enemies, but you could also just kill them fast enough to not have to bother with them at all, so, you know, what's the point? Like most battles against uh, random enemies, I can finish them off in like three, four rounds. And uh, I'd just be better off using attack synergy instead of just like trying to debilitate them. So it's like, why bother? You know what? I think I f fucked up. Oh, I definitely fucked up. Okay, well... No, no, no! Well, at least we come back to the platform we drowned before. Or, uh, we left before drowning. Don't make you start the whole room over again. Whoa! We ran into two maulers. Totally not prepared for two. There we go, that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. No, not behind you. Uh, what's behind door number three? Nothing! Is there anything over here? Nothing! Okay, now let's go behind door number two. 
Uh, we've got more pipe pushing puzzles. Try saying that five times fast. Pipe pushing puzzle, pipe pushing puzzle, pipe pushing puzzle, pipe pushing puzzle. Pipe pushing puzzle. Uh, that's not that hard. Now try saying that five times fast without spitting. Yeah, so you push the pipes in the right place, you'll put water in that area. Now we can hop across the pond. What's the point of a room like this? Whoa! A lot of ooze over there. This is where Earthquake comes in handy. It has so much range that you can just use it. Uh, let me just attack something. Five uses, huh? Five in a row! No, I'm just kidding. I gotta play Omega Ruby again. As if I need to play Hoenn, like, more than 20 times. Oh, uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Start. We want to get that uh, statue down the hole, but we can't move it ourselves. We have to use water, which I think is a pretty cool idea for a puzzle. And then I'll push the statue down there. And now... Move that over there. Down. And move this over here. Aha! Statue fall down, go boom! So now we just gotta push the statue onto the switch like we did before. And the door will open. Let's see. Nothing behind you. Nothing behind you. Something behind you! And nothing behind you. What do we got? What do we got? These nuts. Again. Okay. Well, let's head over here. Gotta use move for this one. And push the pipe up here. Okay, how does that work? How does a how does you know what? Never mind. Okay. Hmm. What does that do? I got an item from the enemy I just defeated called the Crystal Powder. Oh, it just damages with ice. Okay, I thought it was some sort of drug, but whatever. Here we are, behind this waterfall we've got a Mercury Jenny. Uh... Well, it's not like me is going to be doing anything useful in the next fight anyway, so I might as well just heal everyone up to max, and not have to worry about it. Okay. Yep. Because you gotta fight this Mercury, Ginny. Uh, it's got about 290 HP, weak to fire, as you might expect. Let's use Granite. And Fever. And then have you go all out. And you go all out, too. I'm using granite just to buy myself a turn, basically. So yeah, this guy will use powerful ice moves. I like having buying a turn. 
at the delusion status, uh, it makes it so that you're, it's basically the blind status. You'll attack, you're, you're, oh my god, I can't talk! Your attacks will miss much more often. So that's pretty darn good. This is gonna hurt. Ow! One of the really nice things about the uh, bonus to elemental power you get from summoning is that it affects healing, but that doesn't really matter, I guess. And we get the Mercury Jenny Sleet. I think that does damage, and it also drops attack. That's pretty nice. Heal everyone to max. Her, her PP will regenerate more than enough. You might have seen in that battle how it said me regains the PP. Yeah. That sound you just heard is a, the sound of a Jin going back into set mode after being in standby. Have we seen harpies before? I think we do. Oh, I was wrong. There's another enemy that isn't weak to fire. Uh, harpies are weak to wind. But harpies are flying enemies, and in this game, most flying enemies are weak to wind. Oh, right! My uh, weapon is wind elemental. I almost forgot about that. It would be nice if we had more than just two Jin, two Jin per, per character. I really hate dropping down uh, job classes to use my Jin, but I, I don't think we have much of a choice in this case. I think they sort of explain this later, but the reason why Mia's PP is regenerating has to do with the fact that she's, well, a Mercury Adept. This is her place! Alright, just head up here. This dungeon is long. Ooh. It's a double rainbow all the way across the sky. What does it mean? No, I'm just kidding. Man, is that meme old? Is it as old as I feel like it is? Whatever. Anyway, you gotta use the ply synergy on this goddess statue. The dialogue was pretty much mentioning that earlier. What's going on? Oh, the waterfall is falling up now. What is this, Giratina's distortion world? Let me save. Game. Uh oh. Oh nuts! The beacon's been lit. Well, the fact that there's a synergy stone there implies that they will, in fact, let me heal or save. Yes, they do. This is the Lighthouse Eerie. Eerie. Ire. I don't know. I have no idea how to pronounce that word, and I don't particularly care. Well, the Lighthouse is lit, which means we failed in our mission, but... Well, what else can we do here? You'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. See you guys then!